what is going on guys? It is your boy Sissel here, bringing you guys my top 5 creative vantage design tutorials here today. As always, I love to do this at the end of the year. Every end of the year, I take my favorite 5 tutorials that I've done on this channel and give them you guys all in one little section that you guys can also figure out which ones you want to watch because all the links will be in the description down below and it's freaking awesome. So, of course, I have to say this really quickly. 2016 has been a really freaking awesome year for me. Around last year, around this old, well, pretty much last year, the same exact video that I did for last year's uh, top 5, um, I said I hope I hit 50k. So, I, I overdid that. I hit 60k. It's been such a freaking awesome year. I'm already at 61k. It's been really freaking cool, and I, I like I just don't know how uh, far I can go, but I know I'm gonna go as far as I want to. I want to go for 100k. I really want to freaking hit that. And like over the course of this year, I, I had like maybe 20 to 30 people realistically come up to me and be like, you know, hey, I want to be, you know, I want to major graphic design in college, or hey, I just enrolled in graphic design in college thanks to you. Though, yo, bro, like that's really heavy and that's really really awesome. It's not like I'm I'm changing the world, but I'm changing you know some people's lives. You know, realistically these guys are majoring in college uh graphic design in college because of um, like me i i don't like i'm just like i don't know i don't know dude i just i'm just really thankful that i could do that but basically what i'm trying to say is like those people are are you know are gonna later future you know support their family with the jobs that they get in graphic design so realistically it's just something really beautiful and something powerful that i i've done for like you know other people i'm not saying like i'm this special person but the fact that i can motivate so many of you guys to do stuff like that i know you guys are watching this video i i want to say thank you guys so much for the support it's it's really it's really it's something special it's something really beautiful and i'm very very thankful even at the end of this year, I hit 10k Twitter follows. I always wanted it, and I got it. So I just really hope I can hit the 100k next year. I'm really, I really want to go for it. So around this time of this year, I always say, you know, what do I want to go for for 2017? What I want to do for 2017 is really focus on, on like, on like, uh, on what the hell I just started for? Um, but I want to focus on logo design tutorials. I want to focus on production value, like branding value. And I really just want to hit, like, I just want to hit like maybe three like videos a week. I want to do that as well. It's gonna be hard, but I know I want to do it and so I'm gonna stop talking right now I want to say thank you guys so freaking much I do hope you guys enjoy my top five here today and I hope you guys can just like you know just stay with me till next year please can we hit 300 likes on this video it'd be freaking awesome if you guys can do that for me I know I always ask for likes I just I yo I just really want to get I want to get the video out. I want to get more attention and I want to really bring as much as I could possible to you guys and I know I know you guys can enjoy it I just I'm just really happy okay so thank you guys so much for freaking watching I hope you guys had a really uh, great 2016 as well and I hope you guys have a better one for 2017 if you guys did not have a great year in 2016 i will guarantee for sure as long as you keep smiling freaking stay positive and stay productive something i've been tweeting out every single day for the past month it's been something really beautiful as well so if you guys follow that i'm pretty sure you have a fantastic 2017 and as always guys i'll talk to you guys later since we hq out peace all right, guys, so first up would definitely have to be the clean contrast simplistic banner design. Now, in this video, I show you guys how to use uh, color correction, layer blending modes to get this really awesome blending mode for your actual picture and the background. As you guys can see, it looks so, so clean, super, like, awesome. It's like I said, one of my favorites and, like, one of the most popular. And then overall, with the whole entire thing, I show you guys how to use these indentions with, like, shapes. And then it just gives you, like, this really awesome, like... Uh, crisp feel. I like to say that. I think the words crisp is actually works for this. And then, like I said, overall, just goes through the actual blending with your brushes. And then the coolest part, like I said already, was the actual photo that you put in the background. The way it almost looks like it's glowing in the dark. It yo, like that is one of the coolest ones I've done so far. And I really recommend it to you guys. The uh, video will be in, of course. The tutorial will be in the link in the description down below. So if you guys want to check that one out, please go do so. Like I said, one of my favorites, and I know you guys enjoy it too. If you guys have yet to see it. All right, so next up would have to be the 3D manipulated banner design. So in this tutorial, the techniques I show you guys are really awesome for like basic manipulation. Now, as you can see, it looks like the word forest is inside this really awesome photo that we got from Google. Now, basically the entire thing is just really done, uh, kind of like in, in Photoshop and Cinema 4D. So Cinema 4D, you start off with, you make the text, right? You make the render, you make it look all cool, you throw it inside Photoshop, and then you kind of just like pick and choose what kind of leaves or or whatever the heck it is manipulation wise. But in this case, it was, it was those leaves leaves and kind of like pick out where to like pen tool out show you guys this really cool like you know drop shadow mode and then just really show you guys how to pen tool and kind of like get this really seamless cut that way it looks like that your text is actually inside this photo and it just looks so freaking awesome so if you're looking like i said for basic really awesome manipulation tutorial this is one of my favorite ones almost like i have what like twenty thousand views already so it's awesome i really advise you guys to check it out and uh, yeah link is in the description down below
All right, so the simplistic gaming banner design tutorial that I did has to be the best gaming banner tutorial that I actually have on my channel because it has and shows the guys this really cool concept I call the top to bottom concept. So basically, it takes like a character from a game, right? And it shows the ratio to kind of give it that way uh, so we can kind of pen tool that out where it looks like everything in like your background is one solid picture. So it gives you guys a seamless transition between uh, different pictures and it almost looks like everything is in one picture. Now in this example, I had Overwatch because at this time around Overwatch was coming out and pretty much it looks so freaking awesome has i really really have to like advise you guys to watch it if you're into like making gaming uh you know banner designs for like people who do a lot of different games because it works for multiple games as well because the color correction put over everything makes everything look like it's in one solid picture one solid almost poster like look and looks so freaking awesome so if you're looking for a really cool gaming design tutorial this has to be one of the best ones that i have on my channel Alright, so the next one is a pretty recent video, however, I had to put it in here because this is my favorite actual, like, really creative design tutorial. So, this one is called the Cartoon Comic Book Theme Banner Design Tutorial. So, in this video, I showed you guys how to really get the theme of a cartoon design. So, I kind of showed you guys how to use hex codes. I actually gave you a couple hex code free, uh, you know, brush stocks in there as well. And then kind of like show you guys how to, like, really comp uh, com com compromise, <laughs> compose a really awesome banner design that gives you that really cool cartoon look. Now, the things that I sent in this video were actually really handy for people who want to actually replicate any other kind of theme because I kind of really show you guys what I'm paying attention to. I want to show you guys, you know, what color concept I'm paying attention to, how I'm actually like formulating the actual text, uh, you know, how am I making things pop out more, and it's one of the best tutorials that I have that I believe is really creative and really awesome, so you guys really should check it out. Overall, the actual concept of being a cartoon concept is also really sick, so I know there's a lot of people out there who will appreciate it, so if you guys want to go ahead and check that out, link is always in the description down below, and yeah, awesome one. All right, so last up is the Vibrant Abstract Advanced Tutorial. So in this actual tutorial, it was done on complete accident. I kind of played it off and was like, yeah, I was just trying to make my background. No, <laughs> the story's out, bro. It's gone on a complete accident. So in this video, I kind of replicated what I did. So I got to show you guys how to use the actual perspective tool, the distortion tool, uh, like liquify and stuff like that, you know, stuff like you would normally use, but to get this really cool abstract theme. And it came out so freaking awesome. The color scheme was really awesome. The lighting effects were awesome. The uh, actual green that I use in the video were actually really handy as well. So I know for sure if you're looking for any kind of abstract band tutorials, this is going to be your favorite one, I guarantee, because it's so simple and it's very loose and very fun for you to do really anything what you want to do. Like as you can see, I'm using like a liquify tool. I never use that tool whatsoever. So if you're looking for something really loose, really fun, and it's really easy as well, but kind of tedious in a way, it's definitely going to be this tutorial here. So as always, link is in the description down below. And that is my last one I have here today. Alright, so I want to thank you guys so much for freaking watching. I want to thank you guys so much for 2016. It's been a really good year. I know, like, all your YouTubers probably say, like, oh, best year ever, but honestly, it, I don't know what it is for, like, YouTube, for me, and for a lot of other people. It was just a really freaking awesome year. I think I said in my last actual year's uh, little top five that I did, I was like, oh, I hope I hit 50k, yada, 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 and now I'm at, like, 61k, so I over, like, I don't know, I don't want to say, like, what I'm going to go for next year, but I, I know I, I overdid what I wanted last year, and it's all thanks to you guys thank you guys so freaking much let's just try to smash like 300 likes on this video i know i usually always ask for likes but it's been kind of slacking lately so let's kind of push the likes and like really really get up there because i want to hit or i'm gonna say it right now 100k at the end of 2017 i'm gonna push really freaking hard and i know if i do that i know i'm gonna actually succeed i know i know i know i'm just gonna keep saying it because i know bro i just freaking know so thank you guys so much for watching keep smiling stay positive stay freaking productive i'll talk to you guys later so switch out Peace.